My dead fiancé's family all want the ring he bought for me, so they took me to court. I was engaged to John after dating for four years. When he proposed the ring he used was two sizes too big. We went to the store that he bought it from and he kept the receipt. We got the right size and kept the same style. But 10 months after the proposal, John passed away in a car accident. I used the savings for the wedding to pay for his funeral. The day after the funeral, John's brother came to me asking for the ring. I asked why. His response was that the ring had been passed down their family for five generations. I told him that was bullshit because I have proof that the ring was bought for me less than a year ago. We argued for a bit and he then stormed out. Then I get the calls from John's family saying I'm a liar and demanding the ring. Then. I got a letter from their lawyer. In the letter, they also demanded that I reimburse them for costs of John's funeral. So I got myself a lawyer, showed the proof about the ring and proof that I paid for the funeral. We went to court and I won. I thought that madness was over until John's sister recently messaged me. She and her boyfriend are engaged but haven't gotten a ring and she wants John's ring. After I said no, she went crazy and was messaging non-stop demanding. I had blocked her over and over, but she finds a way around it. I was having brunch with my friend, my mobile was on the table, a message from my sister popped up and my friend saw it. I explained the messages to her and my friend believes I'm asshole and I should give her the ring. She told my other friends and they are all saying the same things. Now I'm doubting myself. So am I the asshole? Edit. This ring is part of a company that designs jewelry based on movies and mass produces each style in different sizes. We got the right size and swapped it with style ring too. After the swap and when telling his parents about the engagement, I showed them the ring. John told them about where he brought it and about size swap. His parents never said anything about an heirloom ring and family diamonds. It was after the funeral when they started saying their great, great, great. Grandparents were the ones that brought this ring, and it's an heirloom. About funeral costs, John's parents messaged me about not being able to afford the funeral. My thoughts at the time was that the reason they couldn't afford it is because his sister is about to start college and put the wedding fund for good use because the wedding isn't going to happen anymore. I paid for everything for the funeral. The parents didn't pay at all. I guess during my grief slash shock of John's death might have made me forget that his family owned most of the business and housing accommodations in town. It was during court that I found out that he had life insurance that money went to his parents and it was two times the cost of his funeral. When I received their lawyer letter, I thought it might be fake, but I called my friend and I explained the situation to him. I asked him to check if this letter is real or fake. He told me to meet him with the letter and all my documents for the ring and funeral. He said the letter is real and he will help me. I thought that after their lawyer saw my proof, that would be the end of the madness. But next thing I knew, we were in court. Most of the time I was confused, but I just spoke the truth and showed all my proof. The judge awarded me to be reimbursed for funeral costs, legal fees, and emotional distress. On to his sister. In her first message asking for the ring, she said that John would want her to have it because it would feel like John is part of her next step in her life and let his spirit know he has not forgotten. Sister knows that the ring was brought by John because she was at the engagement party. At the party, we told everyone how the proposal went and about swapping rings. Due to size issues, I should have mentioned that the ring is Lord of the Rings themed and we were planning on the Lord of the Rings themed wedding because we met it in Lord of the Rings event. I recall sister telling John to change the ring to a Disney theme, her protests of our theme idea, and saying we should do a Disney wedding instead during the engagement party. As for the friend from brunch, who saw the messages from his sister and told the others about this, they read his sister's first message asking for the ring. My friend believes that she has good valid reasons for wanting the ring. They also believe that the ring should actually be used. Not stuck in a box somewhere or most likely lost, I pointed out that I'd use the ring. I wore it during engagement, court madness with his family, and kept it on for a year after winning the case. Then, only wearing the ring on his birthday and anniversary of our first meeting, when he proposed and when he died. My friend called me a sad, selfish asshole and stormed off. Next thing I know, my other friends started messaging me about me being an asshole and his sister should get the ring. After his sister's recent messages, I called my lawyer friend. I sent him screenshots of her messages and we have a meeting this week. I am also rethinking my friendship with the friends that say I'm asshole and should give the ring to his sister.